Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example on indices as well as quadratic equations. What is the solution set of the following equation? That is 4 is raised to the power of x square plus 4x is equal to 2 is raised to the power of negative 6. Now to solve this, we have to get the 4 in terms of 2's power. So we can write 4 as 2 squared is raised to the power of x square plus 4x. This is equal to 2 to the power of negative 6. Now using laws of indices, the powers will get multiplied. So we have 2 to the power of 2 times x square is 2x square plus 2 times 4x is 8x. So the powers are getting multiplied. This is equal to 2 to the power of negative 6. Now once we get the bases same as 2 and 2 on both the sides of the equation, we can just cancel them and equate only the powers. So we get 2x square plus 8x is equal to negative 6. We can further reduce this equation as we can see 2, 8 and negative 6 all 3 go in the table of 2. So we can divide each one by 2 and rewrite the equation as x square plus 4x equals negative 3. Taking negative 3 on this side we get x square plus 4x plus 3 is equal to 0. Now we can factorize this by using the splitting the middle term method. So we can write here as x square plus 3x plus 1x plus 3 is equal to 0. So 3 and 1 are the factors of 3 and when we add them we get the sum of the equation which is 4. Now let us group them together. So first 2 together and last 2 together. And we will further factorize this by taking the x term common out from this. And inside the bracket remains x plus 3. And here we can take plus 1 common out. And in the bracket remains x plus 3 equal to 0. So we can write it as x plus 3 times x plus 1 is equal to 0 or we can find out the values of x by equating each factor to a 0. So we will first equate x plus 3 equal to 0. So we get x is equal to negative 3 by shifting the plus 3 on the other side. So this is one value of x and the second factor we will equate it to 0 again and take plus 1 on this side so x will be equal to negative 1 so this is the second value of x so we have negative 1 and negative 3 as two values of x so let's look at the options so here we have the option c which has negative 1 and negative 3 so this is the solution set for the given equation hope you have understood and like the video and thanks for watching.